What is up YouTube? Welcome to another video on high altitude investing. In today's video we are going to be talking about Ethereum Classic and how I think it can hit upwards of $175 in its next cycle. So I'm going to be going over how that can happen from a technical analysis standpoint and how I'm personally looking to play this market as we go into the future with prices. It has been performing very well over the last few days and it's good to see it breaking out of a double bottom pattern. So go ahead and hit that like button for me. Hit the sub subscribe button with the notification bell because I am dedicated to uploading five videos a week on this channel all through 2020. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. So this is the Ethereum Classic versus the dollar. And I'm looking on the three day candlesticks right now. We can see a very large market cycle that took place from 2017 and then when the bear market started in 2018. And then now we are making what looks to be a double bottom pattern. As you guys know, we'll get a confirmation of this breakout when we get above horizontal resistance. So we have this low over here on the left. And then we have this low over here on the right hand side. And when we get above this middle point, the resistance of that, that confirms the double bottom pattern. You can actually use double bottom patterns to find targets. You measure the height of the bottom and put it on top of the point that it breaks out. And so $15 would be the double bottom target. But I think we'll go even higher than that because of Elliott Wave Theory, this being a one and a two wave and how impulsive three waves really are. But that would be your first conservative target in the smaller time frames. So what we're really looking for here is to get that breakout above the resistance levels. It's just under $10, it's about $9 and 60 to 70 cents is that major resistance. And you can see that used to be support in the last run up, we fell down to that level, found support before we pushed all the way up to the previous all time high. So this from a market cycle perspective is looking very, very nice because of this huge parabolic move, the first sell off, and then you have the euphoria, also known as new paradigm, where everybody thinks it's going to go up forever. And then you get this huge capitulation event, fall into depression, and then go into a disbelief phase. Now, what I think we're doing is we're breaking out of that disbelief phase. People are still in disbelief though. And they're probably going to be in disbelief really until we start trending up towards all time highs. And I think that's going to be the case for across the entire market. More than just Ethereum Classic, many coins, people are going to be in disbelief that it's going to go up until they actually see that it's gone up a whole bunch. And that's just kind of goes to show the psychology of the crowd. The crowd usually gets in late or too late. And the reason for that is just because they're too scared, you know, scared money doesn't make money. They're too scared to take positions in a market that's dropped a whole bunch when actually that's when the lowest risk opportunity occurs. So from an Elliott Wave perspective in the shorter time frame, we're watching for again that one, two, and that very, very impulsive three wave, kind of like what we were seeing in BSV, where you've got a very impulsive three wave. And then that four and that five wave after that we could have some type of correction near the previous all-time high but overall i'm expecting us in the longer term and this is where i get my price targets from i'm expecting us to reach the 3618 and really the reason for this is because in the big picture we're seeing a one two three four five elliott wave structure so i'm expecting our final fifth wave to take us up to that 3618 and that is 174 175 dollars that kind of range per ethereum classic so i really do think that this is one to be watching to have a little bit in your portfolio because a 2000 percent gain might not be the biggest gain in the whole market but it's definitely very very substantial and you can just see in the chart pattern itself that it's ready to take off like that when you zoom clear out like this and you look at the volume this is very very significant volume here with a five billion dollar volume spike you guys even in 2017 2018 when all that mania was happening across the markets we literally saw the biggest volume spike was 3.2 billion dollars 
on the three day time frame. So now to have a volume spike over five billion dollars is really showing kind of what the, the market is saying and volume precedes price. And that's kind of a rule of technical analysis. So when you see a large vol volume spike coming in on bullish candles, these are buying candles, bullish candlesticks, then you're probably seeing volume precede price. We're probably seeing the volume come in before the price reflects that much volume. And that's another reason why I think this is going into an Elliott three wave. And really just ETC is one of those coins that has been around for a while, but it's kind of under the radar because people are kind of the same thing with the Bitcoin and the Bitcoin SV thing. People think it's one or the other, when in fact you can have both of them in your portfolio. It's just about percentage allocation. Uh, ETC and Ethereum are going to probably both do well in the next run. I think most cryptos are going to do well especially if they're not ones that have just been in major downtrends that have never done market cycles in the past. They've just been in downtrends. So these bigger cap coins and some of the small cap coins that have established uptrends in the past, I think they're going to do well as the whole market does. And the reason for that is because as money comes into Bitcoin, people trust fiat currencies less and less. They leave Forex markets and they go into cryptocurrency markets. And I think that trend is only going to continue. A lot of the top Forex traders, even Forex gurus, people that teach Forex, people that have huge Forex trading classes, a lot of those guys are going into cryptocurrency because they know how much money is leaving Forex markets, fiat currencies, and going into crypto. And with that trend continuing, there's a lot of room for growth in lots of coins. I think that the the one will win and the other one will lose mentality isn't the right one to have. A risk management strategy is much more effective in this case. And that's what I kind of think when I'm looking at Ethereum versus Ethereum Classic and kind of want one to have. Well, you can have both of them. And it's just about what one you think you should have more of. And with that being said, ETC is a little bit more volatile than Ethereum. So it's a little bit higher risk, but it's also higher reward. So if you're looking from a perspective of stability in your account, having a lot of ETC rather than having a lot of Ethereum is a little higher risk, but higher reward. So if you're a high risk trader, you might look at that. Or if you're a lower risk trader, you might look at having more Ethereum versus ETC in your portfolio. But this is really for me, not not necessarily a short term trade, but more of a long term trade where I'm looking for it to go past its previous all time highs and really make those Elliott waves, those one, two, three, four, five waves into the future and start to trend up into new price discovery. And with that being said, I want you guys to remember that if you're picking this coin up, there's going to be lots of dips along the way. You don't have to FOMO in when it's up 30, 40%. You can wait for a 25% drop. You can wait for it to fall. Wait for that red candle and you can pick it up and just think in the long term, okay, I'm going to hold this position. I'm going to let it ride. There's going to be dips along the way up. There's going to be pumps and dumps. But overall, you're looking for this to maintain a longer degree uptrend, a larger uptrend in its cycle. So this one, yeah, definitely has me very excited. $175 is a pretty nice target. Again, you guys, when I talk about targets, these are just places where I would be taking percentages off. You know, you could take 25% off the three wave at the 2618. You can take 25% off at the five wave at the 3618. And then you could take another 25% off if we go parabolic even above those levels. You know, you can take this tool over here and just draw what can happen. I'll delete the Elliott waves. Sometimes prices go above that. And I like to leave 25% in long term, especially if I've made enough off of the trade that I can afford to lose that 25% because I've already have so much profit that it's basically like, like a, an investment in the coin made from pure profits alone. So, you know, this could be like a three wave and ABC, and then you can have that fifth wave. Now the fifth wave can go extended too, especially when it's in price discovery where it's above its previous all time high that, that five wave, I mean, can go extended. And so when you get those extended fifth waves, you can take even more profit on that. And by the time that you're, you're going extremely parabolic, then you'd only have 25% left 
in the market. So that's kind of the strategy that I, I suggest you consider using. Um, none of this is investment advice, but this is what's worked for me, especially when these markets start to go into price discovery and parabolic. Leaving 25% in can be very beneficial because you really just don't know how high it's going to go. But you can take your profits along the way up to secure those gains, secure your wealth, and then let the rest grow with the markets as an investment in it. So yeah, ETC, very awesome chart. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me right now. Hit the subscribe button with the notification bell because I am uploading five videos a week all through 2020. And comment down below where you're tuning in from in this beautiful world. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next videos. As always, stay profitable out there.